Okay, episode 15, we're back. We're back, baby. We're so back. Danny, today we've got draft of buzz kills, we've got news, and we've got questions from the sticks. Yeah. Let's just, we just launch right in? Yeah, I mean, listen, I, I think normally we, we kind of, we hit a little, you know, something before we get into it, but why not just get straight into yeah, it? Yeah, let's just do the freaking draft. Yeah. yeah. I mean, go that's ahead. what you we're go, doing. That's where we're first. headed. Yeah, go Yeah, ahead. I mean, listen, this draft, um, you know, you could take it a lot of different directions, um, and there's really no wrong answers here. Yeah. And, and I think that what a buzzkill would do is, is say that there are wrong answers. Cause so that even could be a pick is saying right. that that's people not, that say there's, there's wrong answers. People, yeah. people that, that say that's not a good pick. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, how about you come along with me? Right. For sure. Yeah. You know that, and it's more specific to us. So I won't take that. Um, but with my first pick, I'm going to take Squidward. Yeah. He's a buzzkill. I for mean, sure. just what an, what a dick, man. Just a negative I, guy. And it's weird. Like, um, SpongeBob fans have this like respect for him. Oh, and, I, and we do too. Cause like, like we do debates and stuff, and we've done that before. And they're like Squidward is almost like a top two, like because well, he's in my number three. Well, here's the he's thing: he's crucial to the show, but you're a fr- you're a freaking you're a prick, man. Well, well, no, well, well, Danny. At the end of the day, he's playing the heel, right? He's, he's yeah, yeah, yeah. WWE, he like heel. he's he's he playing, playing into it, and I yeah. think he's really good at that. But I yeah. also think Danny Squidward by nature, asshole, really bad squid, asshole. really yeah. not a, not a pleasant squid to be around. No. If you, Danny, if you hang out, it's with not him, even an act. That's what I'm saying. That's he what I'm. He's he's like a villain. He's like a real life villain, man. Exactly. Yeah. Well, he's just really like. uh I guess the word would just be negative, man. Yeah, he's yeah. just a negative person. He's, like uh, you know, you know who uh, who plays villain but isn't negative? Who? Plankton. He's a really good. He's a really good guy. Re- Danny. He's a he's very small. Yeah. Very nice. Though. But he'll do any. He'll go to he'll go to war for his people. Yes. Yeah. 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 Squid. It's like no squid. No squid's just a bummer. Like yeah, he's just a freaking yeah. bummer to be around. And what he is, he's a buzz kill you right. have you, you got a party going on you got something fun going on you yeah, got you say a funny joke turn it down yeah it's not funny yeah, yeah that's yeah. always squidward man yeah. he's just he's the perfect number one pick for a buzz kill draft i'll go character for character for mine i'm gonna go eeyore out of out of oh, winnie yeah, out of winnie yeah, the yeah. Pooh. um i don't know what he's going through i don't want to yeah and that's what i was gonna say i don't want to get in you he's know, more I, just like really like really sad yeah um yep but i mean eeyore's in a room he was at a party we went to in the hills and it was like but the, the thing is, it's like, but but, but my problem with Eeyore, Danny, is it, it just feels like he wants attention because it's like, why was he at that party? That's what I'm saying. You know what, that's I'm, saying? what I'm saying? You, you, you went, Eeyore. You didn't have to step out, Eeyore. I, that's what I'm saying. And yeah. and that's, I think, a, a, a distinction between Eeyore and Squid. Squid really just doesn't fuck Squid, with people and, and he just he won't go out. He likes to stay in the crib. Yeah, He'll yeah. stay in his little... Eeyore goes out like three nights a week. I know. Yeah, and that's like, what that's what makes me think it's an attention grab. I, I Listen, I, I'm not going to come at his mental health or, or anything. Right, going yeah, I don't, and I don't want to, yeah, I'm tiptoeing a little bit here. Yeah, yeah, let's, and let's, let's don't know what's going yeah, on let's, let's yeah. probably just move on because I don't want to, I don't want to mess with that whole yeah. situation. Yeah. Um, and, and maybe, speaking it, of um, Winnie the Pooh, Winnie, text me back, text me back. Yeah, when? When? I, I we mean, hit him, we hit him a couple weeks ago. Well, he hit me yeah. back. Okay, when he texts me back. Yeah. That's really yeah. weird. Well, I know, I think Win's probably just busy but like yeah well i got a i got a cool deal for you man so yeah. hit me back yeah <laughs> yeah yeah no this guy's got an opportunity for you um danny with my two pick here i'm gonna say you know i'm gonna say the guy that talks about bad weather the guy that talks about bad weather mm-hmm. okay because mm-hmm. yeah. because a lot of people thought that just like rainy days were gonna get taken or just yeah. bad weather in general maybe yeah. cold weather the guy that's like the weather sucks the guy that's that's talking about how the weather's ruining things is the yeah. guy that's ruining things yeah 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 because the what danny you could it's a, yesterday we had a, we had a good time. It was cold. Yeah, I don't even think of it. For us, it's like we're so locked in on what we're doing. Like I will, I won't notice the weather unless it's hailing. But like today, but I know. But even if it's hailing and we were planning on going out, we would still go out, and Definitely. it would have Definitely. no impact. I I think. Or yeah, oh yeah, the person that's like, we can't do it. It's too cold. Yeah. It's like, come or on. they're like, they're like the wet. The it's just rainy and it's dragging my mood down. Yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah. But the, it, why? Whatever. I guess if your plan was to like go to the beach. Yeah. And and tan, then yeah. yeah. But if if you're doing anything, if you're just like gonna go out, you don't yeah. need good weather. I, I mean, agree. The good weather can enhance the night, but I don't think it can ruin a night. You just play through. Yeah. The only time when you really can't play through are those really tough nights, like in Denver, mm-hmm. when it's either when like, it's like seven. Yeah, really cold, yeah. or sometimes you got really bad roads, and it's like I sure, can't. Sure. Oh, like a snow situation. Yeah, it's like I you yeah. can't go anywhere. One yeah. time I I drove my car into a ditch. Really, and it was just like it, I was just trying to play through, you just get it through, because I'm I'm just you know I'm I'm like a the weather doesn't impact our yeah, night yeah, type yeah, of guy, yeah, and I could not play through, and I yeah. actually skidded into and, a ditch, and that's and why was, you stay off the roads, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and my night ended early. That's I had to but turn that's in. why the refs. A lot of people say it's an early stoppage from yep. the refs when they when they say can't go on the road, yeah, and they say like it's a delay. It, I mean the stoppage. They're is paid usually, to keep us safe. Yeah, they're paid yeah. to keep us safe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, 
In my two, I'm going to go to... I'm going to go to um, just general buffering. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. To me, like definition of buzzkill. You're mm-hmm. locked in on a show. We're, yeah. We're hitting a buffer. Yeah, yeah. Wait, okay. what, what are we buffering for right now? And, and I would almost... I would almost... Rather People you... say it's as simple as the internet connection. Not no, no, because Buffer loves what he did. Buffer, like, lo- buffer, buffer loves it. He yeah. loves to buffer, and yeah. he loves to buffer right in your face. Yeah, and yeah. and he's you know he he's, spins right in your face. Yeah, he's like I'm yeah. oh I'm oh I'm buffer. I'm gonna buffer right right on your screen. Right and he now. likes when, to buffer at important times. Yeah, in the plot. and and that's yeah. the thing. And that's yeah. that's the freaking thing, Danny. Is is buffer never happens in the intro. Buffer doesn't happen if you fall asleep in this show still. No, he does, he, Buffer doesn't. Danny, Buffer goes to sleep when you go to sleep. Buffer goes, yeah, exactly. And and that's the thing that really bothers me about Buffer is he, yeah. he's there to ruin your show. Yeah. Um, and he likes doing it. And yeah. it's like, what? No, that, like, that's evil. Like, it, why do it's, you... it is. It's, it, I, I, you got to question his intentions a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, I think that's a really good pick. He's he's uh, he's such a buzzkill. For guy. sure, yeah. Um, Danny, with my third pick here, man, there's so many... Sp- like I I don't know what direction I want to go. Yeah. Um I'm going to I'm just going to go to referees. Yeah, they they're kind of buzzkills, yeah. Because I mean, we're all having fun, right? We're all we're all playing sports out here. We're all, you know, I'm I'm having fun. I'm and You're I'm, like calling a foul on me. Yeah, and I'm it's like, dude, I wasn't I wasn't it wasn't that serious, right? Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like and I would, you think and you're saying like even like in an NBA circumstance? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah like they yeah. just kill the vibe. It's like yeah. we, we were we just had three minutes in a row of we were just going back and forth playing yeah. hoops and then and then And then I hit him on the arm and you're like And now it. and now what? Now we have to let him shoot two free throws yeah. to slow the game down? Come on. It's like not that, it's not that deep. Yeah. It's not that deep. It's not yeah. that freaking deep. And sometimes I, I, I just I, I wish they would just get out of this get out of sport. Yeah. Right. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Get out like let's just let's just have no rules. Yeah. Dude, you, know you ever get like we? I played seven v sevens today, mm-hmm. footy, and like some of the refs there sometimes are just like so angry, and like they're actually kind of yeah. In all seriousness, that actually is what I'm talking. He was about, like, is... like we like didn't hear him, and he's like, "You listen to me. I asked if you have a game ball." Like when the game started, it's like, "Why are you mad at me?" That that's like an actual jokes aside. That's like an actual buzz. Coach. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. like that's what I had in mind when I when like I like a seven v seven co-ed ref. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Actually, that's like the specific scenario where they're. But sometimes goes. there's an awesome ref. Well, in that, but like the all one that's you like need angry, to do if you're in that situation and you're the ref is just like call like really clear fouls. And when it's just, fa- but and then other than that, it's like even if like there's something that happens, just let it just happen. Leave it. Just yeah, yeah just yeah. let it play on. We're all just having fun playing soccer here. For sure. For don't sure. don't don't make this about you. Yeah, sir. absolutely. Especially in like a co-ed league. Um, in my three, I will go to. Oh, this is a specific one, but um. I mean, everyone can relate when you're at a restaurant and the waiter walks by and they got a bunch of food and you think it's you and they just, they just yes. jump, they yeah. jolt right by you. Yeah. That's a tough one. That's yeah. just like a, uh, it's not like a buzz. It's kill. a, it's a knife. It's a little bit it's of a, a, it's a knife in the, in the, it's a it's twist, twist in the knife. knife. It's yeah, a twist yeah. to the freaking knife. And yeah. that's, that's the third time in two pods that we've, that we've well, got that and, and Danny, we got I a think, counter up top. Yeah. Um, well, but yeah. I think, I think that that phrase is important. I yeah. think maybe we even it's have having a, tw- a moment, a that twist of the freaking knife draft. Yeah. That, <laughs> maybe it, it could oh, come that's down. actually not bad. Yeah. It could. Um, yeah, it just, it just stinks. Especially if you're like really hungry. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I, I, I think the thing is, a lot of times you'll you'll get louder foods that are that are passing by for sure. And you'll, I think they're very intentional about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll get a, a double cheeseburger. You'll get a fajita. Right. You'll get who's, a, who's, oh who's yeah, volume wise, screaming at you. Literally volume wise, screaming at you. And, yeah. and by the way, I think that fajitas can chill out. Just, yeah, they're just really loud. A, just really as loud. a full food group, guys, just relax. We don't need. And they they love their upcharge that they do. They're very expensive. Yeah, and, and um, well, and it's like, and the thing is, it's like, for some reason now, pan. Uh, thinks he could like he has he has he has room to talk like, skillet and, is, yeah skillet skillet's like skillet it's like why are by yeah. but my thing is like skillet who who did you talk to to end up on my dinner table right yeah now? yeah you get your ass back in the kitchen skillet skillet, skillet chirps as he that's walks what i'm by, saying he walks out is, of that, and that skillet kitchen. is like laughing at you and it's yeah like, Dude, yeah i hate skillet man. how who yeah. is this guy like signed to that he's right. allowed because skillet of the like, kitchen you know what's really yeah? Why is he allowed out of the? That's kitchen? That's what I'm saying, dude. And the real in the freaking kitchen. The real attraction there, skillet is is I hate to say it, like chicken and and veggies. Like that, yeah, skillet. Yeah, you, you take chicken and veggies away from you, skillet. You're just yeah. a, you're just a freaking pan. Um, or tortillas more than you, skillet. Yeah, yeah, skillet. You can't. You're not edible. And tortilla is the humblest freaking wheat I've ever met. Yeah. Well, tortilla is like the the poster child for wheat. If I, if you're wheat out there. Look watch at tor- tortilla. Look watch at how that. tortilla did it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Corn tortilla, flour tortilla. Yeah, he, he, he yeah, he expanded a little bit. For sure. You know, he did hard taco tortilla. He yeah, did, yeah. Um, 
He actually wrote a book that kind of flopped a little bit, but it other flopped. than that, not even a little bit, it flopped. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But what, what was, was it called? Um, a tortilla, a, a young tortilla's life. I thought just or, like very, yeah, it was like a or, simple. But what, I think he, there was a spinoff that was, life of tortilla. Yeah, like channel one or like it wasn't yeah, it, was, cha- it wasn't it was, channel. It, it, no, no, it, it was, was like um, a life I've, of tortilla. Was it channel? Uh, uh, or is it like through Tortilla's Lens? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly through what it was. Through Tortilla's it was... Lens, Act 1. That's what it was. Thank through you. Through Tortilla's Lens, Act Thank 1. Thank you. And then there wasn't an Act 2. Yes, and is that's what I, I kind of thought was a little bit weird. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, no, other than that, great If you career. read that book, though, um, yeah, let us know what you thought. I, yeah. Let us know. Yeah, because yeah. I actually only, I only bought it, but I didn't. I, I bought it just because I support Tor- it. Yeah. But yeah. I, I didn't. Haven't read it. Yeah. yeah, I didn't actually dig in. Um, with my next... audio, They got an audio book for it, too. We could do that, maybe. Did Tortilla read it? No. No, no, no. no. <laughs> he doesn't have time for that. No. Um, dang. With my next pick, I'm gonna go to, and this is gonna ruffle feathers. Uh, so I, I, you know, I, I hate to do it, but just cats. They, I mean, that's a very good. That's a very fair pick. But out of, but more and like, and don't get it twisted. They're probably the number two pet out. But they're, if if a, if they all had the same personality, like they are buzzkills. Oh like, yeah, they're so rude. They're so they're the type of Straight guy that's office. like. Yeah, and they're and they're like they're the type of guy that everybody's laughing and they're like that's weird. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. cat for yeah. you. They get like offended really easily. And you know what? If the if I had to say the opposite of a buzzkill, I would say dog. A, a puppy, yeah. Puppies Just are their dog in general, yeah. But yeah. puppies are they're 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 everything is 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 positive love with those guys. Yeah, they love you. They'll 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 get on your page, whatever page sure. you're on. For sure. For cats sure. are they're gonna find your page and they're gonna say that was the wrong page. Yeah, I don't I don't but get cats that. are all about I don't it, get man. what the yeah. Um, Plus they scratch, man. They scratch. They they um, they they I told you I'd I cat sit and we it was like I couldn't go in there because it would like come at me. It'd like jump on me and shit. Um yeah that I think you did something to the cat. No dude the cat would like run at me. I know but I had to like it was like a really Did you like experience. put some catnip in your pocket by accident no, or no. Are you sure? No. Because I don't think cats just charge it. I think I think it depends on the freaking cat, Zach. Don't <laughs> yeah. tell me a cat. I know. I don't. I don't want to. I don't, don't wanna... tell me a cat doesn't charge you. I know. You're okay. Right. No, you're right. I got a lot of freaking scratches. Got some. And scars. you got baggage from that too. Yeah, like you're, baggage. You like baggage. You picked up like a hiss thing for a yeah. second there. Yeah. Was was that because yeah. of that cat? Yeah. Is that where yeah. that originated? Yes. Wow. Yeah. That yeah, because um, that was a, that was a weird. Yeah. I was, <laughs> it was. I was like hissing and shit. Yeah. It was weird. Um. But let's talk about something else. Yeah. Let's talk about something else, man. Um, okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go in my four to Bluetooth struggling to connect, especially okay. when you're in a car and you're mm-hmm. trying to play music and yeah. you can't you can't sort it. Yeah, and let me t- let me say one thing to you, Danny. Um, I've had it in like the parents' car when I'm in Colorado and I can't connect. And, and it's I, like, and this, what are we just gonna play with handheld phone right now? I think I actually discovered something that that. Um, I know, I know, I didn't know about it before, but I, I think a lot of the world struggles with, it and, and they get frustrated because they're they're trying to drive and they're trying to connect. Oh, you have to be stopped, brother. You got to park that car. Yeah, yeah, park that car. It's gonna it's gonna solve ninety percent of your problems on the, on the Bluetooth. Phone that is good car. to know. It, that's I'm just good information you, for people out yeah, there. Yeah, and that's just insider information. I'm a vet in the in the Bluetooth space. Your car has to be stopped to connect. Yeah, yeah, Danny. Not I wouldn't even just say stop. I'd say park. Just just to be safe. Mm-hmm. Just to be park that car, Bluetooth up. You'll get a you'll get the code huh. and you're in. Huh. And you're yeah. freaking in. Good to know. Yeah, I mean, listen, I, I think that works ninety percent of the time. But yeah, when if you just Bluetooth can't figure it out, yeah, it sucks. It when sucks. you just can't get it to fall, and you really want to listen to music, yeah, it's it is it is a tough scene. The worst. Um, but that happens a lot. If you ever ask the Uber for an aux cord, and they're like, "I got Bluetooth," and you're like, "And you can't, you just can't." Well, well and you just you're like, he's like, "Oh, you can connect to the Bluetooth," but then he's driving. I'm like, "Well, I know you got to park." Yeah, yeah. And I'm gonna just act like I'm trying to connect for the next 15 minutes, but right. and it's I know it's dead. not gonna fall. Yeah. And he's yeah. like, "I don't know what's going on." Yeah. Nobody knows. I I wouldn't have. Well, known. I know. I, I didn't I, really know that you had to park. Yeah. Yeah. I I just think um that's information that people need. I th- I don't know why they're trying that's to hide really it from good us. Info. That's really good info. I, yeah. I think that might be like a government thing. Is that they're trying to? It's like a secret. Um. Yeah, what do you think that is? Is propaganda? It's, an agenda thing. Probably. It's an agenda. Yeah, I think they just don't want us to listen to music. Probably. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. That's that was a like, don't want they don't want the people to listen to music. Well, yeah, and they don't want you to know that you're supposed to park to, to connect yeah. to Bluetooth. Yeah. And I get that. I do get that. Yeah. Uh, but now you know. Um, with my final pick, Danny. Damn, who am I gonna go to? I'm gonna go to when they turn the lights on, in a in a bar or a club. That's a good. That's a buzzkill. It's buzz kill. um, it is a buzzkill because then it's just like, all right, now where are we going? Yeah, 
And I think here, especially, they you, you they shut it down earlier here. I, it's I've two. Heard. Yeah, that's really early. That's it's just really early. it's just like if you st- if if it was open till three or four. Yeah, it would make no difference, and right. the, the bar would make more money. Right. So what are we doing? Yeah. And it just it when you're in if you're out at a bar at two a.m. the vibes are better with the lights off. You, nobody needs to really see but, each other like that. Well, yeah, and and also like no, but I get that. That well, like you have to turn them on because you're closing. I yeah, get, you got you. I get, get the the function. I'm just saying it sucks. Like uh, it does suck to go from well because you're all vibing from you're, music, vibing, lights off, kind of just chilling to, to lights to it's, lights on. Now it's a buzz kit. Now you're like like we we gotta we gotta figure out where we're doing. Yeah, and yeah. it's just it's the night's over. Did that sucks. happen to you the other night that you went out? Yeah, I mean, but the thing is, is, is it feels like if you're closing a bar, yeah, you should be out like really late, right? But I you're agree. not. It, two a.m. is like two a.m. is not that late. It's yeah. not. It's just like a normal that's like, hour. That's like right in the middle. I feel like if you're closing a bar, it should be four. It should be three thirty to four. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Um, yeah, it's a good pick. Is it like that in Nashville with bars? I feel like they're open later. I, I feel like they lean like four a.m. Yeah, that I'm kind of four, kinda, four, four is the time. But, yeah, I know Miami. It's like they just Miami. They don't close. Yeah. Which that that's I don't un, that's unbelievable. I don't know that I Miami. Believe. It's like you get there at two. Which that I I don't. Yeah, why? What is what is the sleep? What does the <laughs> yeah. sleep schedule look like? I heard you there? sleep all day. Who said that? Were we talking to somebody, or did I see like an interview? I don't know. But yeah, you just like sleep all day. It's like all right. Yeah, I feel like you just sleep at night. I don't know. I, I don't. Whatever doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah. Um. In my five. My five. I'll just go to um. When you're going on a plane and it's down to the only middle seats situation. Yeah. Yeah. And you just bit. have to grab a seat. Yeah, and that's just that's really just like a rough. I would say it's a rough situation. It's a tough one. You make it happen. It's all good. It's just oh, like, it's there's no problem. You dream of a freaking of a, of an aisle of maybe a window, maybe well, an aisle with with uh, the other person's in the window. You got a free seat. Well, you know what you you really dream of is what? is just an empty row. An empty row is a freaking dream. You know what also is like even more of a buzzkill is when you when like there's three people getting on and there's like six open middles. Yeah, yeah. And you're like, let me just let me just keep yeah. this room and they they just plop in your yeah. middle. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I think I um. I'm typically too friendly on those. I'll, I'll you're make, like you're like hop in. Well, I'll make eye contact. Yeah, I'll make yeah, eye contact. I'll, I'll bring them down with Welcome my eyes. Man. Yeah, um, yeah. Because listen, I, they, no, but I've been in that situation, and you don't want to like take somebody's spot. It's like you, you you're don't like wanna, I hate to be this guy. Exactly, and, yeah, yeah, and it's yeah. like it's that okay being that guy. You don't yeah. come. You have to be that guy seat. for somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and then and the, but the thing is, nobody pays it forward because whenever I'm on, whenever I'm in the situation, dude, I'm they, the last three. I've had that, and they're like, they like get up and they're like mad. They are mad. They're like, Ugh. and then it's just like, dude, we're we're gonna sit together for three yeah, hours here. Yeah. Let's just let's yeah. let's be a little nicer for sure. Um, so I'm always I'm always welcoming. But that is a that's a good pick. It's a good pick. Good stuff. Man. Um, let's get right into the news let's go to the news first story this is just i i the whole draft i was actually thinking of it because i was like i can't wait to just talk about this the biggest yeah. story for us it's like the biggest the drake stuff drake kendrick what the hell is going on crazy yeah um hey kendrick what the hell man yeah i don't know what the hell was that i don't know man um it's a it's a scary one for our boy and He's Cole, kind of, I, you hate to see Cole get wrapped up. I actually don't even know if, if... I don't think Cole's like really... I think... Was there anything about Cole other than... Mm-hmm. Like I guess big three, big me. But also first, like person first person shooter. Yeah, but that... But also the stick. Uh, Cole's got a bar about like walking around with a stick. So he's coming he, at Cole. Damn. Yeah, I mean, he's coming um, out of both. Yeah, I mean, it's it's uh, it's crazy. And it's like... It's scary. I get Kendrick's it. really good at rapping. That's what I'm saying though. I get it. I get why Kendrick did it. Kendrick's like, I'm better at rapping than you. They're guys. saying... They're, it, it's also not that, uh, it's not like mean, I would say. It's not like malicious. No, it isn't. It's, it's just, not, it's not personal. What really. it is, is Kendrick thinks he's better than them. Yeah. And he as thinks he should as a, as a, as like a rapper, like yeah. an athlete. It's and every, every mentality. like, I, yeah. and like every rap head would say Kendrick's the, the goat of out, of, like the, rap, out of the three of rap. Yeah. And everybody who's like, who just likes like the music and they like, like pop it's culture like, more would say, not a, yeah. I like Drake more. Like if you like, it's just like not and, a right answer. Yeah, like yeah. Drake's Drake's the biggest. Uh, Drake's the best at being a a pop star, but he also is a great rapper and he he has hits and he's got cultural appeal. Kind yeah, of has like the albums. Like it, it's fair, and that's why I don't think that they're gonna respond. Yeah, I mean, they, I yeah, I doubt they respond because they really they really don't have to. But Kendrick did this, by the way. Like I, I forget what the song. I think it was called. I forget what the song was. He had a verse like. 10 years ago where he just like came at somebody was came it? at like the whole rap. He was like better than the I, I was, like nobody did. And yeah. then just Drake, I remember using an interview after he was like, he's like, that was a moment. 
and like I'll just let it pass. Like nobody's talking about it anymore. Yeah. So I could really see him just being like, okay, like that was cute. Do you think Kendrick's trying to like bait him, or he's just like, yeah? I think he's trying it. to bait him. He's trying to bait. I think he's trying to bait him because academics was talking. You see it, what I academics said, where he it, said yeah, like Kawhi. Well, the other way he's like. The only songs that people are going to talk about when yeah, they look it's back, not this one, this, yeah, this is debate. They're not going to talk about this. Is this debate. verse? It'd be Drake's song back to Kendrick. Yeah, yeah. And, and Kendrick already has probably one. has something in yeah. the vault. Yeah, it's but I crazy. actually, I don't know that he would have something in the vault because you, you kind of have to respond to like what they actually say. But I'm sure he's got like some shit, re- like some ideas going. I the thing that really breaks my heart, like Kendrick, whatever. Yeah, Kendrick just thinks oh, he's future. better. Is that future? Do you think he's, so? Do you think I definitely? Hundred percent. That means that Future and Drake aren't good. Hundred percent. Yeah, I mean, I can't. They can't be good, dude. Like, even that like sucks. in the, uh, I think in rap in general, like yeah. if you're if somebody's on your song dissing, like you obviously are co-signing it for sure. But like, even just think about if me and you, if I if I it would be like if I was on like a podcast and somebody was like talking shit about you. And you were just on the podcast. And you I was just, and I was was just like there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like you would be like, You're you would be more mad at me. Mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I've been like, that's what it, I feel like. It, it's, Drake might be more upset with future. Yeah. It's like more yeah. fucked up for future. Yeah. Yeah. God, it breaks my heart. It's crazy. Because that duo, that was my favorite duo. Future and Drake? Yeah, dude. I mean, it's, it's a go to duo. What do you think future's mad about? Fucking I don't know. That I, he wasn't on the 21 album? Maybe. That could be it. But, but that's I, like a weird. Dude, like it that it sucks. wasn't that it wasn't Drake and Future. That's what he. That's mad what at? I think. That's what like academics said. Like, what you can't really. I don't know. Yeah, I guess he could just be salty, but they're both like Atlanta guys. Yeah, I don't know. Damn, dude, that sucks. I I don't. What do What do you think? The like make your prediction right now. Do they do they respond Drake or do they not respond? Uh, and if I they respond, what do you predict, think the reception's going to be? I'm going to predict that they don't respond. Oh, okay. Yeah, but if they I were to respond, respond, what would the reception be? Um. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if I want Drake to respond. Cause it's like everyone, like people want to be like, oh, Kendrick's a better rapper. And so they'll like try, like, I know. it's like Drake would be like the underdog rap wise in that. It's such a weird spot to be in. Yeah. It Cause sucks. like, they, yeah, I don't know. I think if they respond, I bet the reaction will be like, like Drake got bodied. Yeah. 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 That's what I'm saying. But at yeah. the same time, like when he responded to Meek, that the that back to back was like a but it was just like so platinum. undeniably good yeah so good yeah, yeah that's it, that's the thing it's like if he comes out with something it has to be like undeniably just a smash yeah he's good God. at doing that I'm I'm excited to see what happens in these next couple of weeks yeah. there next we just got um we went to the Kings game and it was it was really fun yeah it was really fun it was a blast I, I actually think I'm sitting wearing in the a Kings, suite I'm wearing the Kings hoodie yeah sitting in a suite I mean we're still Avs guys let's not get it twisted yeah we're still out yeah. Um, but Kings are my second team though. I'll put them in my, yeah. in my two. Uh, yeah. I actually was talking about that. What, like at what point do you, how it's long do you have to live somewhere where you start supporting that team? It's a tough and it's a tough situation for us with LA teams. Yeah. Well, the thing is like, like the nuggets I'll always support for sure. Avs, Bron- but yeah, see, that's the thing is like, I'll never, the one that we're like, we can't, that nuggets were like, we're, I know, but, but I don't want to not support I the never, Avs, the I never, and shit. Yeah, I could never yeah. see myself. Yeah. Like being like, I'm a Rams fan over the Broncos. Neither. Neither. So I guess I think I guess you never can you switch. just be like a fan of going to the games though. Like, I don't kinda? know. That's what I'm saying. Like dad. Like I, at what I, point? At what point did dad just decide he's because dad's a, he a switch da- to the a, Colorado teams. He's a Rockies fan. Yeah, Broncos. That's true. Nuggets. Abs. I think what? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I I just think maybe you gotta your team. Maybe your teams have to suck to switch. Yeah. Or maybe uh, yeah. I don't know. It's a tough spot. Yeah. But like I want to. Yeah, I'm not gonna put the Kings over the Avs, but I like I kind of, I like the Kings. Yeah, but I like I liked it. Yeah, it, yeah. I mean, it's fun to go to the games and shit. I, I think we just only go when the Avs are here and we just root for the yeah, Avs yeah, probably. Yeah, but yeah. um, especially like the Avs are gonna dude. We might go NBA championship and Stanley Cup this year. Mm-hmm. I don't I don't know if that's ever Avs happened. Are one of the best I'm teams sure in the NHL, has. right? Yeah. Well, the, I think they're the best team, but I I don't know. If, I'm sure it's happened, but I don't know though. because they win at like the same exact time. Oh, which true. is sick. Uh. Maybe the Similar Stanley time. Cup is like a little later. Yeah, I don't know, but that would be sick if, like, if we had like cities ever gone triple, double parade, triple crown. Dude, we would have a chance. With the we just mm, need the Broncos, not the Broncos. Yeah, I think Boston had they Boston had like, would be the team. The they had like Pats, it. Red Sox. Yeah, they and, had some crazy and Bruins. shit. Yeah, Bruins. They could do it. Yeah. What other? Yeah, no. New York, maybe. Mm, not Giants, New York. Yankees. Yeah, but the Yankees haven't won in like Rangers. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't know. 
But yeah, shout out to the Kings. That's really fun. Um, I'd lo- I do my my uh, liking of sweets went up. Liking of, of sweets. Oh, oh yeah, sweet yeah. I was gonna say that up, too. Went up because we haven't done it for a while. I uh, I do think like sweets should just be courtside or whatever. But it was I really liked the sweet. I kind of forgot about how awesome they are. Yeah, but I I think at a hockey game, sweets are like better than you could see the full rink. Yeah, you get to you get full rink. I think that's the best seat in the house. Yeah. Yeah, I think basketball games. I don't know about a sweet. But I think yeah. football games, it's the best. Football, the house, you get the whole field for sure. Too. Yeah, and it's warm and shit. Yeah. Basketball, I don't know. Hockey, it's the best seat in the house too. Yeah. You're just you're hanging out like in your room, and then so you just, private. Yeah. yeah. Then you just yeah. get to watch the game. Yeah. But that was uh, that was a fun experience. Shout out to them. Um, should we get right into the questions? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we're right into questions here. This one comes from Audrey. Um, it says, "What is your average Saturday routine like?" Um, average Saturday routine. I mean, I don't, I don't think we. We don't really do weekends very differently. Like we're pretty much just seven days are like all the same. Yeah. I mean, so I, I would just, say Saturday routine is just a normal day routine. Yeah. Other than is, like, we'll go out, but yeah, I feel like we're pretty, we're pretty dialed with our routine. Yeah. I think it's, we, we wake up, uh, wake up, wake up. And then we will film seven game series, we'll film a seven game series. We will then break for the gym. Yep. Both go to the gym, get back around like noon one, um, and then we lock into our, we go to the basketball court. Hit the basketball court. Yep. yep. Then we come back, we film our regular set. Yep. And then we edit until like, till like five or six. And then for two of the days, we film a pod. Yep. For Saturday, night. we're not filming a pod. And then if it's a Saturday. If it's a Saturday, maybe we like go to a Kings game, like something like that. Yeah. yeah. Go to a Kings game or just go to like the just bar or whatever. Or like and, go out. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then that's it. Yeah. But all day, I think that's one thing that we have gotten better at is. Now, like, we have people helping with, like, posting for us. Yeah. Because, like, before, it would be we're just all day, post like, we're posting, and physically like, posting so many videos yeah, yeah, that yeah. you, like, don't even know what's going on. And then you mess up. Right. But, like, now we, like... We, we have people posting. Yeah. yeah. We got one from Evan here. Who's winning in a fight, a banana or a cucumber? Well, I think we all want to say cucumber, right? Um, and that's that's kind of the consensus of what I've been seeing. I just think he's too like bulky and like too. He's like too ripped. Oh well, let's talk about it. Oh, well, let's talk about it. He's too ripped. You think his body fat percentage is too low? No, is that I what you're saying? Are you? Are no, you, are no, you no, no. I think. His, I you? think. No, no, no. I think his arms look like they're balloons. I think okay. they're too big. Like I think he's not agile enough. I get that. And I, I think I think that's probably been his one um, his one critique. If if I'm gonna if I were to critique. Cucumber. Why? That's freaking why he lost to Motstick. Yeah, I know. That's why if he I, lost if, to Motstick. Well, I think he just got a little bit too cocky. I don't think he trained really for that fight. For Motstick, yeah. Because nobody thinks Motstick is going to come in. That was crazy, and, yeah. And, we'll and that was Motstick's top. He's gone down since. So I mean, yeah. yeah. Well, Mots, he's just a he's a master marketer. Yeah, yeah. At the is. end of the day, but I, I don't. I don't even think. I don't even think Mots thought he was going to win. Yeah, I can't believe that. I can't believe that either. Um, so you just had banana cucumber. Yeah, you. I. I have. I have banana actually. Well, I just think, but I think cucumber is the better fighter. Fighter for sure, but I think uh, bananas is like the better, um, like just pure born. Athlete. I think at some point these fruit, the, the these fruits are fruits, right? Like, yeah. like like he like banana has it all. Banana, banana doesn't need to get out of bed for this cucumber fight, right? right? Like that's just the nature of the fruit. Danny, he's got all the money. He's got right. all he needs. He he's he's got the, he's got the girls. He's got it yeah. all. Yeah, yeah, bananas yeah. got it all, man. Yeah. So he doesn't need it. He's I, dating I just, Peach. He's dating. Peach. I know he's dating. He's dating freaking Peach. Yep. That, that goes. That's that's my point exactly, Danny. Um, are you, so you're taking who are you taking? Cucumber. 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 Okay. Do you think there's a by fruit? submission? Oh, by submission. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Damn. Um, do you think there's a fruit that could beat cucumber out there right now? <sighs> a fruit that could beat. That's a good question, brother. That's there's. I have fruit one fruit. I think. I freaking think, and he's been climbing and climbing and climbing, and it's really exciting. I've, I think lemon could beat cucumber. I think. <laughs> I think <laughs> lemon could beat cucumber. Lemon's a really I'm exciting. A, he's a except. I, he's an exciting prospect. Yeah. But yeah. I, I just don't think he has the the height, the reach. Um, I think so you, you don't think there's a fruit that could beat him. Oh, I think Lemon would love that fight. I think yeah, it would be an yeah. intriguing fight to watch, but yeah. I, I just don't think Lemon's skills are where they need to be yet. Right. And I, I think that. someday, yeah. someday maybe. So but, no um, fruit for you? No, I don't think any fruit could beat him. Maybe Do you think there's a veggie, veggie that could beat cucumber? I think there's a veggie that could probably beat him, and that veggie is probably the red pepper. The red, Yeah, the red pepper is really good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's intense. Yeah. He's intense. He's just, he's a really nice striker. Really brutal KO of grape. I know. <laughs> I know. I know. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, he, yeah. he punishes people. Yeah, he does. He does. Um, but yeah, I I don't think banana really stands a chance to be honest with you. So we answered uh, what was it? Me versus how many gorillas? It was ten. Or yeah. it was ten Danny's versus a gorilla. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, today we have from Alex Kennedy. He said love the pod, fellas. Every episode been fire so far. Thank you. Thank you. Who would win, Zach 
or, or a million ants. That's a lot of ants. Let me let me get do some googling real quick. I, I gotta see like how how that's a lot. How of much does a million ants weigh? I think that might be one hundred and fifty one thousand one hundred ninety six ants per pound. So you're probably gonna have like how seven pounds it? of ants or something. Oh, seven pounds of ants. I'm gonna beat them. The thing is, how like, much does a mil- five point five pounds of ants is what this says. I'm, Dude, but that's I'm no, killing them. No, I think you're losing. I think no, you're just I'm getting not. swarmed. No, I'm not. Dude, I, Dude think of a pounds. million ants running at you right now. That's like this entire But room what are they there. even going to do to me? Let's say they're they're just going to get on you and bite you and eat you, I think. They're all going to just man. They're all just going to go onto your body and now you have a, <laughs> For okay, first of 50, all. 50,000 ants in you. First of all. First of all. You're done. First of all. You're done. I got the ants. What the hell, man? I just think but a, fit, a million ants Believe in me. something. A million Believe ants something. me. I'm also taking the All I'm saying is this. Are we in a cage of some sort? You're in here. You're in this room. Can I open the door and, and leave? No. Because I'm just saying, like, I think... Oh, no, let's do... You're I'm, you're in the octagon, UFC octagon. Oh, me. And it's pay-per-view event. <laughs> that, would do, that would do a <laughs> would lot do of a freaking lot. pay-per-views. It would do a lot, yeah. God, It'd I would probably do more than even a fight, because it, it might it'd be like, this guy might die. Do the ants... Are they, Like, do the ants... Their goal is to just, like, kind of eat you. They can't get me, though. You know well, what? How though? are you going to get him? You're just going to spot. You're going to stomp on a lot. But well, like, here's what I'm going to do. I guess like you could run around the octagon. You got you got to like plug your nose, plug yeah. your ears, because I think that's their best. Their best bet is like running up my run, running up my nose. Yeah. You run up my nose, you got me. They could get up your crack too, though. Well, they can get up my crack. They can get up my. <laughs> yeah, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta figure that out. That's yeah. something I'm going to yeah. have to figure out with my people. Yeah. I'm just going to probably go like really tight on the underwear. Yeah. Or really, just duct tape your crack. Yeah. Or just like I feel like those UFC. Uh, trunks would probably do it. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. they're not getting past that. Are they doing the pink trunks for you? The O'Malley's? I'm not allowed to wear pink trunks. I wish. Oh shit. Yeah, that would be cool. Yeah. Um. Yeah, but if I, I got could, the ants, that's so annoying. I mean, you. I but the what should make it less annoying is that I have the ants over me too. Yeah, but but here's what I'm saying is like, say they're say they're spread out. All I'm doing is like going crazy, like just jumping. Like, yeah, and yeah. I, it's like boom! I killed ten thousand of them. Boom, They're, boom, yeah. boom. And like, you're and you're a good grappler. They like to grapple, but I don't think that's an issue for you. Oh no, I'm 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 proficient. On the ground. I'm proficient. I'm, on well, the ground. my my takedown defense is really good. So yeah, real really good. They don't have a chance on um, on that front. Yeah, but good luck in that fight, man. Thank you, man. This one comes from Brady Sherwood. He said, "How do you think Diet Coke and Coke's relationship is nowadays? Yeah, do you think they like affiliating themselves with each other, or they're their own thing?" It's a really, it's a really, it's a yeah, I don't, very interesting question. And I actually kind of feel uncomfortable touching on this, Brady. I don't think they, I don't think they like each other at well, all. Well, no, Danny, Danny, I think it's, um, it's, it's really, it's a touchy, it's a touchy subject, subject. And that's what I'm saying. Like, it's honestly brave and, and bold of Brady to, it's, it's a taboo thing to talk about. It's taboo to talk about. It's, um, it's just interesting waters, man. You got to be careful talking yeah, about Coke yeah. and Diet Coke, man. They, they're really powerful sodas and they, um, they don't freaking like each other though. That's they the, don't like each other, but the thing is, it's like politically, I think it's a good friendship for them to have. Politically, like, yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So, so I, I think we're never gonna get that. Where, where we're never gonna get the real relationship. Exactly, yeah, yeah. man. And maybe th- something will come out. You know, yeah. years, years down the road. Yeah, yeah. Where, where Diet Coke says, "I, you know what? I, fu- careful, I always, I always, careful. My bad. You're right. You're right. I think there's a chance, Danny, in a, in in maybe 10, 20 years. Yep. That Diet Coke comes out mm-hmm. and tells all about Coke. That's all I'm saying. That's yeah. all I'm saying. Yeah. So I don't you think, think you think Coke is the guy that that has some baggage that Diet Coke might have on him. Well, because because Coke came first. It was and, reversed and, with the Pepsi Diet Pepsi thing was freaking crazy, yeah, yeah. and Diet Pepsi was the guy. And that, but I think I think the way Pepsi and Diet Pepsi handle that yeah. shows why we're not going to get yeah. the yeah. full story that about was Coke a mess. and Diet that Coke. Yeah, mess, it was a freaking. Yeah. It was a disaster. It was a PR nightmare. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, they, and they'll never be, be able friends. To it's kind of like the Drake situation, man. They, they just can't be friends. Well, the like, thing is, like that, like you know, you know how big Coke's ego is. Yeah, huge. You yeah. think he's going to just give it up to his little brother Diet Coke? No. The thing is, like he he's I. And again, I, I this is why I didn't really want to talk about yeah, it because me, me and Coke have, you know, we've we've broke bread together. And yeah, he, he told me a couple a couple of dirty details about oh, Diet really, Coke. Really? And he, he actually he because I we we had a couple drinks in us, and he said, yeah, yeah, you know what? I that, heard Coke when he starts drinking gets really like yappy. Vo- vo- yeah, and he said he said that kid that kid's fragile. That kid's oh, that got kid's it, weak. He's yeah. zero yeah, calories. Still that's how you feel Coke. Okay. Oh, yeah, no, that's what that's, that's what I'm so, saying. Like, that's so. Fucked it's such up. a low blow. He said that he said he's zero calories. You might have he's, to blur that, I, you saying that. No, no, no. Really, and I quote, he's fragile. 
zero calories, Damn, and he's dude. a good for nothing soda. That's crazy. Yeah, dude. I mean, no, you that, might get co canceled from that right there. I know, I know, yeah, yeah. but I'm, I'm I'm willing to do that. Mount, which, which side? Dew, which side would you? Would Mountain you stand Dew got on? canceled for saying Lacroix is a zero calorie. Yeah, thing. but Mountain Dew deserved to get canceled. Yeah, Mountain Dew is a freaking Mountain, nice like guy. Mountain Dew. It's like they got him for the Lacroix statement, but if it wasn't that, it was something. Else. It was something yeah. else. Yeah, it was long. And if you've been around Mountain Dew, it's like you know that he's a loose cannon. Yeah, and he was. It's, it was a ticking Mountain time bomb. Yeah, he's he ticking was time soda. SoundCloud rapper type. Thing. Yeah, like yeah, it was. Yeah. It was never gonna last. Right. With do. Right. Um. But I, you know, he got his bag. So yeah, yeah, he did. He did. This one comes from Sean Eubanks. He said, "Danny and Zach, are you guys cat or dog people? Dog people. I mean, what? Well, of course we're dog. People. But I think everyone's a dog person, man. I agree. No, everyone isn't a dog person. But I, I just don't understand. But like, I, I don't get it, man. I don't get yeah, the cat I, appeal, man. I get the cat appeal. I get the appeal of I, I get that they're very independent. They're eat, like I don't want they my go cat. to the bathroom by themselves. Yeah, if, you, you, if you need your pet to be independent, then then it's not even like no. But they're I don't easier, want to coexist with my pet, right? But they're easier to take care of. That's the appeal. But they and if they had a better attitude, they'd be a great great pet. Yeah, but they're not. But they don't have a better. They attitude. They don't. I've been told that I should Shitty. get a cat. Sh- okay, that and that you should take an offense by to Abby that. a lot. Okay, yeah, and, you, and you should take that as a slap. No, in the it's face. not. It's because they're like in the face. they're like you're too busy and you're not. So like a cat's a good thing. Yeah, but a cat, it's just like what I don't. Yeah, I, no, I don't. I, I'm I, a dog I just guy. Don't get I'm it. A dog I, guy. We're dog guys. We're dog yeah. guys. That's yeah. it. All right, we got a question from Jack here. I like this question a lot. We might have to do this just on the regular page. We got yeah. what would you choose between one million dollars handed to you right now? So just a would you rather? Would you rather be given one million or? 50 million, but you have to not finish last in an Olympic event of your choosing. You have three years to train. What would you choose and what sport from Jack in Liverpool, England? And he says he says that he bought a bread basket hoodie in Florida and had his brother get it and bring it to him. What a what a legend. That was part of the comment. That is sick. Um First but yeah, all, what would shout you shout out to you? Shout out to Jack. What would you do? That's would you take the million or the fifty? First of all, I think you would have to take the fifty because it's fifty. You know yeah, what I'm saying? One to ten. Like a lot of yeah. times we do that one to ten because like it's it's close enough. Yeah, I agree. If you got a chance to just train and and pick up fifty, you got to do it. Fifty, 50 for sure. is like you're you, one of the richest people. Yeah, you have unlimited money. I think if you have fifty, you're unlimited. Unlimited for sure. I'm trying um, to think of what I would do. I would do, I would do it too. Like I would do like archery. Okay. Because you you can just figure if I if I locked in, I think I would just figure it out. And it's all you did. Yeah, I yeah. think it's definitely harder than we're thinking. Yeah, but you can definitely just you could you could dial. You I'm gonna do it in. I'm gonna do maybe high jump. I was literally gonna say high jump, but I feel like Wait, what's part of high that jump? Is the one where you have the pole and you jump over. That's pole vault. Oh, really? Are you sure? That sounds like <laughs> pole vault is the one where you vault off a pole. Yes. You vault off a pole, and it's called. It that doesn't make sense. Well, um, it, it kind of. You could see where they get so the you name. Vault you could, off you of could a pole. see how they made the name, though. At least, right? I'm not following. That's interesting. Pole vault yeah. is the one. You, yeah, that doesn't make sense. But I guess that is what it is. I've yeah, always I thought. I think I could pole vault right now. But I feel like part of it is like a natural gift. Of, no, no, I'm gonna do a pole vault actually, and not get last. I think the thing with pole vaulting is it's uh, an unbelievable amount of like, all, like I think what are you using? You're probably using like back and like yeah, yeah, yeah. You just got to get really strong. But yeah. once you're really strong, I think you're. But you're, you don't think there's any gift of like your build and like your probably ability to jump. But yeah, leap. probably. I don't yeah. know about. I don't know if jumping. How I think you just got to muscle it. It's like a but muscle. I'm sure, like some tor- sort of build is like the best for it. Yeah, I think I could be. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do. Pole I, th- I also think like may- like maybe the best strategy is to like get on like a bobsled team because then you're not the only one. True. True. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If it could be a team, I think that's good. Yeah, well, I guess yeah, I think we we're doing individual. Though. Yeah, because because yeah. then you could be on like the, the I think men's we, basketball. That's team. a great question. Kyler says, "What concerts have you guys been to?" I know y'all are big Drizzy fans. Let me click on this. He said, "I know y'all are big Drizzy fans. Have you ever seen that? them? <clears throat> have you ever seen him in real life?" Love mm-hmm. the pod, by the way. Yeah, I just screenshotted it. Um, we uh, have seen yeah. Drizzy. We yep. have seen Drizzy IRL. Um, yeah, and first I, time I saw him was the best concert i've ever been to second time we just we just went we sent it to her yeah and but i also think it was it was so first of all it was the first concert i have ever been to was the first the first strike first strike so yeah. like that obviously was going to be a crazy experience oh he shouted you too <laughs> yeah that was probably really that, awesome for dude you. yeah i think that was like that you two in the you two been going crazy i actually night. forgot it. well he it wasn't like that but he like he was calling people out no because they basically put him on a little crane i don't know oh. if i'm making this up right now no, I, I'm sure. I remember they put him on like a little yeah, yeah and they're like machine, floating him around. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. he was just floating around shouting people out. That's cool. 
and he he was like shit yeah and you, you you're going crazy up there but we were like you were up top we were going crazy to be yeah, fair yeah, yeah like we were going nuts yeah um but yeah that's that show was insane not to say that the 2023 show wasn't insane yeah it was good but I mean, we just we just we got a little too drunk we got too drunk we don't and we don't really do that usually but yeah oh i also saw him with kanye you did, yeah. That how was, was that? That was like, well, that one. You know how I feel about stadium shows. Yeah, it's just like you can't see them really. Any stadium show, I don't get. Just too big. Didn't you go to like an Ed Sheeran show? And you said it was good though. Yeah, but in like a musical way, like, oh, in, like you just literally in like a he he talent. I got hit yeah, with a yeah. wave of talent from yeah him. yeah. Like it wasn't like a oh my god that's him. I was like this guy's freaking so good. Yeah, dude. Yeah. When I yeah when I saw Ye and and Drake, it was like that could be literally anybody. Out I there. think I think especially for hip hop though, it's like. You kind of got to see them and like be in the vibe. It's cool. Yeah, it, it was cool. Like like they're doing all of the lights and it's like a full stadium. Of, yeah, yeah, I'm sure it's nuts. Yeah, it's sick. Yeah, but it's like I I, I didn't get any like oh my god. Yeah, yeah, Drake too far away. away. Yeah, you're yeah. you're too far. And they're just smoking up the. They got the whole the fog. Oh yeah. So yeah, on yeah. top of the the fact that they're you like actually can't. They're a hundred yeah. yards away and yeah. they're in a fog storm. Yeah. So. What other concerts have we been to? I've been to a lot of shows, actually. I've been to a good amount. What's your favorite, yeah. other than Drake? Um, was Drake your favorite? Uh, I he, it just doesn't count because we were just like drunk. Yeah, yeah, true. I felt the downstairs. first Ed, the first Ed Sheeran one was insane that I went to at Red Rocks. Um, my first concert ever was Macklemore when he oh, was as yeah. hot as he was, and a, he stood one. right next. He, you know, that little thing in the middle of Red Rocks. Yeah, yeah. I was how right did next he get to it, there? and I don't know. It was like somehow he transported there. I don't yeah. know how he got there. But um, yeah, he's like right next to me. I have a video. It's crazy. I'll that see is if I can cool. Find it. I, I yeah, wonder. The Sonic's jersey on. I wonder. I, I bet you just go th under the yeah, you do under something. The stairs, I guess. Yeah, it was so nuts. That is sick. I've been to. I, I remember I went to Chance in his prime. Chance in his prime at, at, at Red Rocks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Khalid, yeah. like in his prime at Red Rocks. Khalid, American Teen Khalid. Yep. Oh, been to a couple so of Russ awesome. shows. We're big Russ yeah. guys. That um, Russ Hollywood Bowl show is one of my favorites. I think that was like his biggest of all time. So it was yeah. cool that we were there. Yeah, he was really good. Damn, who else have we seen? Uh, I, I saw Cole. Yep, I saw Cole at Bonnaroo. Dude, I'm starting to. I think I, we're just like, we're, we just like are big rap fans. Well, I guess you, I think you we're, you're you're talking Ed a little bit, but yeah. What other concert? Like, what I feel like. Damn, it's crazy. Andy Grammer obviously used to be like my. He yeah, still yeah. is my hero. Actually, yeah. I'm not even gonna say used to be. Damn, we should get him on the pod. Bunch. Of, oh, I freaking love to. He's he's the goat. What does he do? You still release? You think? Oh, he's drunk. Of course. Oh, is he still. Yeah, dropping he's killing. Bangers? He's killing. Yeah, there's probably songs that I know that I don't even know. Oh, definitely. Yeah. yeah, Andy. Andy is a legend. Dude, one story I wanted to put in here. We're actually punching this in after because I forgot to bring it up, but I forgot that we didn't bring it. Uh, we didn't mention it before. Did you see James Harden just contest Kawhi Leonard's three? No. It is the funniest video I've ever seen. Let me what, pull this the up for you. Was fun? Wait. They're on the same hold on. team. Yeah, I was just going to say. <laughs> ah, dude. I during a real I'm game? I'm so excited that you haven't seen this. This is during a game? During a game. And then after he stood by it, he was like, we were bored and we, I, I wanted to just like get the guys going a little bit. Were they up? Uh, I actually don't know. That's crazy, dude. Did he make it? I didn't see it. No, he missed because he had a hand in his face, dude. <laughs> That's the craziest thing I've ever seen. Not a whole lot to offer, but that guy is hilarious, dude. That's really funny. Um, and you know what? That is That definitely did, like, it brought the morale up a little bit. Yeah. I like that. I if like that, but Jim. It, well, I just want to know what the point in the game was. Like, were they up 25? I or don't was it know. Like 30 I'm, I'm seconds assuming left? they won. Yeah. Because I think if they lost... Let me just look up the score of that game, actually. Now it's driving me nuts. If they lost... That's the funniest thing that's ever happened in all of sports. That is uh, unbelievable. Because I actually never did, I saw it on like TikTok that. and the capture or the one of the comments was like they lost by three, by the way. I doubt that's real. That can't be. Blazers, Clippers. Okay, yeah. See, they won by they won by eight. So it was uh, they would have won by eleven. <laughs> they won by eight though. Like they yeah, didn't they, they, it was close. Unless that was like. garbage time. I don't but why would they be in if they're up and it was garbage? that's crazy. That it's awesome. Crazy. No, I, I love that from him. I love that from Jim. This one's from Gavin. He said, Did one of you guys play soccer for real? Yeah, we both did. We both played soccer, Gavin. Okay. Um and that's uh it's a valid question, you know? Yeah, he why would he know? You know? It's also like I think a lot of times we're just joking. Like I would say ninety ninety really hard five percent of what we're saying is not serious. That so happened, then, yeah. That happened even, um, when we were talking because people think we're always being sarcastic, 
but you can't tell when we're not. It is very tough to get a read on. I saw a comment on the pod where we were talking about the alien. Did you see that? Yeah. Because we were because we actually thought that was like a real thing. It's not a real thing. But the person commented, they were like, your humor is so hard to get because I thought you guys actually believed that was an alien. And we did believe it was the real alien. I think that was a real alien. But like, apparently it was like proven not true. And it's like a meme. Oh, really? But like we, everyone just thinks we're, yeah. Well, so see like, that I just didn't know. I know, but we weren't trying to be funny. We were being serious. Mexico alien. Yeah. I don't know. I, I think it's like fake or something. Yeah. Maybe. maybe or it's like proven just... fake. I don't know. Damn, yeah, we both played that's, soccer. It's really disappointing. We both played soccer in college. What a great sport that is, man. What a oh, great dude. sport. Yeah, I played 7v7s play. today, and oh my God, I had so much fun. So much fun. This actually, this is from J. Crew Searle. I don't know if that's the name, but... J. Crew? J. Crew Searle. Okay. So I, I, I feel like we might be butchering something. I feel like yeah. I might be missing. That might be like, I don't know what that is. Yeah. Um, Might be butchering that. But this actually is just funny. Probably not going to do it. He said, uh, yo, just listen to the pod. Good stuff. Had an idea for a video. <laughs> Something like, you guys get all the food off a menu of one place and then weigh yourselves before and after. Oh, yeah. And whoever I saw gained that. more weight wins. Yeah, j- probably like not something we're going to do. <laughs> it's so funny though. Like It is a hilarious Think thing. Think about like trying to gain 10 pounds in like one sitting. And how, then- many, how much weight do you think you could realistically gain? In one sitting? I don't know, dude. I, like, we get full pretty easy. No, but I don't know. Like, I feel like if you, like I, I don't. I feel like weight is weird because I feel like if I hold this and then, like, if I hold like three water bottles and a big burger, yeah, it weighs like five pounds, right? But then if I had it all, I don't think I gained five pounds. I don't think. Yeah, I think. What's um, the physics on that? It is crazy. I've thought about this before. It's like so you can, like, you can eat a burger. The that physics has, make no think sense. Think of this. You eat a burger that has 1,500 calories, but it's like it's like a quarter of a pound. A quarter pounder. It's a, But then you gain two pounds. Oh, is that true? You can gain... I'm just saying like you can eat... It's The weight you gain is not... Um, it doesn't have to do with the weight of the food, which is unbelievable. What the hell is that? Yeah. I feel like if we... Like ha- a if fluffy we, if we, donut. If we got has, a, a, a plate and it weighed yeah. 10 pounds of food... Yeah. Why would we not just gain 10 it's pounds? It's unbelievable. I don't know. I it makes know. no freaking sense. But I think, maybe you gain it in water rate. I don't know. It's crazy. Water? I feel like you should be able to gain 20 pounds in one second. You sitting. can gain a lot from water. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah. Well, that's just... Um, we're going to put a pin in it there. And yeah. I think that's yeah. where we end the episode. I think it was a quick one today. Yeah, quicker, um, I think. But Sunday nights. I think we got to film on, on Saturday nights because Sunday nights are... They're, Sunday nights, yeah, you're like a little tired. Yeah, you're a little tired. I don't like the vibe as much. as yeah. Saturday, your vibes are a little bit higher. For sure. For um. Sure. But yeah, that'll do it for this episode. By the way, I'm trying to get into, I'm trying to do another tournament. So, oh yeah, another we've been talking yeah. about that. Another tournament is coming soon, guys. Also, if you have a, if you have a 77 soccer squad that you want us to join, we, we got invited to one. Then we're probably going to join. Is it, is it in, close to us? Too far? See, that's the thing. It was a little bit far. So we're in Santa Monica. If you're within like a 30 minute drive radius and you have a team, we will freaking join. But we'll probably go out to this one. I forgot who the guy's we might, name was. We might just was, play. We might play for him. The but team if, in Costa Mesa will probably pop out to one game or two games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't know if we can commit to a full right season because that yeah, is, that's, and maybe we fill out our schedule with one-off games with different leagues. Man, I would do that if you if you have a soccer league. I really, really want to play. I had so much fun today playing. If you got a soccer league, we're going to be in Denver next weekend. Literally, if you're in Denver and have a team, so yeah, if you know somebody, and if you're at this point in the epi, yeah, yeah, shout out to you. But yeah, new tournament coming soon. Um, love you guys. That's it.